UConn football fallout. Head coach Randy Etzel abruptly stepped down just about 24 hours ago. Yeah, some really shocking developments. And while he won't be coaching, he will be getting paid. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino spent the day digging into why he's at the answer desk with what he uncovered. Mike. Well, Mark and Aaron, I talked with a couple of sports reporters today, and they say that it is common in top-level college sports to do something like this. But, of course, it's not common for the average person. So I asked those reporters, why is this the case? This has been a wild uh, 72 hours. After back-to-back -back poor showings by his team to start the season, Randy Edsel announced his plans to retire as UConn's football coach at the end of the year. Then Monday, just 24 hours later, he announced he was stepping down immediately but he'll continue to collect his $1.2 million salary through December 1st. Eyewitness News viewers wanted to know why. Joe Sikorsky emailed the answer desk saying, step down and get paid still. What's the deal with that? We can debate whether that's just, but there's nothing about this arrangement in terms of, of Edsel being paid out through this year that's unusual in this industry. It may be frustrating to fans, but experts say it's the cost of doing business at this level, especially since Edsel is agreeing to leave after this year. He just signed a two-year contract extension through 2023. Paying three months of salary could be cheaper than a legal fight, especially since his pay is lower than most coaches at this level. The reality is that in the college football world right now, Randy Edsel was a, was a, was a bargain. Matt Brown, who covers college sports business, says UConn also needs to think about how that would look to the next coach. He says a lot of coaches noticed when UConn fired men's basketball coach Kevin Ollie to avoid paying the rest of his contract. Ollie sued. It's very unusual for a coach to be completely fired for cause, even when they absolutely deserve it, and walk away with nothing. But why wouldn't UConn just keep Edsel for the rest of the year? Mike DeMauro of the day says this lets UConn reset its season. When you have an interim coach, I think expectations lessen a little bit. Now, fans are left wondering where UConn will look for its next coach and what kind of candidates can they attract? A lot of that will depend on how much UConn is willing to pay. Live from the newsroom, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.